Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick demo and review of the Asus Note 8 because you all seem to show some interest in it. Um, there's a few reasons why I highly recommend this device. One being that it's very cheap. You can find it for around 180 220 maybe less. I got this for about 180 used on Amazon, but it came in like new condition. The screen protector I installed is pretty marred up. It makes it look pretty dingy and as you can see it's got some wear on it because I just throw it in my bag. Um, that's what I wanted was a device that I didn't have to really worry about. I could throw it in my bag, have it there when I needed it for the train ride or at work um, and not worry about something expensive getting broken. Um, also I, I love the fact that it charges through a micro USB just like your phone so I don't need an extra cord which is nice. Just plug it in. So I usually have this charger in my bag also. So let me go ahead and show you how it runs. I'm um, using this uh, Wacom pen that I got on Amazon for about 60 bucks. It's the closest thing you're going to get to the uh, studio pen that Modbook used to have. Let's see. I already did a, a video demo of ZBrush, but I'll show you a bit more. Um, I've, I've had a couple hang-ups with it uh, at around 3 million polys, I think. It, it said it was out of memory. When I tried to re um something that I was working on, it crashed a couple times, but for the most part, usually the projects will be in Lightbox, so it, it wasn't too big of an issue. So I guess just keep it light, do some basic blocking of um, characters or whatever, don't don't expect to get too detailed but it can handle a, a good amount Here's a claw that I did for a dragon sculpt that I plan on doing. It's 74,000 um, polys, and so it's not too high, but yeah. So, like I said, it's nice to just kind of block things out. And then if you need to when you get home, you can load it into a more powerful PC if you have one. There's a wing that I was working on for, for a dragon sculpt also. Maybe I'll do something from scratch for you guys and speed it up. Also, to make things easier, as I said in my last video, this touch key. Um, sidebar application is nice. It does, sometimes it gets uh, stuck when I use the shift for smoothing. Um, sometimes it'll s leave the shift on and I'll have to minimize and reopen the application. So, beware of that.
So yeah, there's a uh, that that demo for you guys. Uh, what else? Um, it's that's great as an e-reader. I use it for homework. Uh, at work all the time to study. Uh, this is papyrus. I use this for note taking in class. Um, This, uh, the screen protector that I put on here, along with this nib, I believe, gives it a very paper-like feel. Almost like the Cintiq that I own, the Cintiq Companion. I don't know if you can hear it, but... It's, uh, it's nice. I'll show you the screen protector brand. This is the screen protector that I bought um, for the ATIV and I liked it so much that I cut one of the extra ones to fit the Note 8 um, and then I used a hole punch for the camera kinda kinda janky but it gets the job done if I, I'm gonna look for this brand actually to make the, the uh, model for this um, it's surprisingly quite clear for a, a matte screen protector. It's probably the best one I've ever used, actually.